This is a central lineart. It's a rather old device, I believe, invented in the 1800s. It was a popular tool in the 1920s where this version has been copied from. Basically, you have two adjustable arms and a blade, rather like a traditional T-square. The adjustable arms run against two pins, which you can vary the distance between them. The pins in this case are on the left hand side of my drawing board. I also have positions for pins on the right hand side. I'm going to try and quickly try and demonstrate how this thing works. You must keep the blades in contact with the pins at all times. I'm putting in some light lines but they might appear quite dark. I'm just making this up. There's lines sloping in one direction. I'm going to go back to a traditional T-square to put some vertical lines in. This is a a very, very quick drawing of a, a building, a sort of wee house. There's nothing elaborate, it's just to demonstrate how the instruments work. There's part of the elevation drawn. Not, not to scale, I hasten to add. I've now got another centrally add central lineard and it's working from the other direction. The reason I've got two is I can set the angle differently. I don't have to keep going back to alter things. If you wanted the same angle, that is the same slope towards the vanishing points, then you could use both sides of the blade of the T-square. Right, here's the other side of the building. I'm going to just find the middle of that and project that point right up until it reaches the ridge on the roof. Join that up. Let's put a wee window in the end here, just because I feel like it. Okay, there's one, two, three windows and that door. The slope on there is roughly the same as the slope there, so just project that angle across and draw that in. Now I've put these lines on my drawing fairly dark, because they tend not to come out on the video. But if these were drawn lightly, you could then go over the thing freehand and darken or firm in these lines. And who would know that you'd use the mechanical aid in order to draw the thing? Let's while we're at it, stick a chimney in. That would slope back down there. Oh, this is good fun. Evidently architects in the 1920s and 30s used devices like this to make sure their presentations were spot on. trees round the building. We fence and so on. 